Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be doing a design space tutorial. I am going to be um, designing just a little name to put on a wallet. So I like to personalize everything. I'm going to be using HTV. This is a Kate Spade like slim wallet. Um, I want to do Christmas gifts and these. I'm going to add maybe a little gift card in here or whatever, but I wanted to add the name above the Kate Spade sign. So um, I have two different types of HTV. I've got like this bronze, like metallic bronze, and then I've got a gold. Both will work with this because these are pale colors. I've got pink and basically a pale pink, pale purple with Kate Spade on this. It's like, um, it's like gold lettering like on top. Um, it's like that keychain feel, so it's not embedded into the thing, but it's like um, a piece of metal on top. So um, I'm gonna show you how to design it, how to pick fonts, how to use Creative Fabrica um, with this project. And then in the next tutorial, we're actually gonna press it and I'm gonna show you all the, um, all the tips and tricks to that. So, all right, before we get started, because that was a long intro, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I really appreciate all the support. So, all right, let's get started. I have up Creative Fabrica. This is why I like Creative Fabrica. I am going to, well, one, I have a membership. So right now it's the Black Friday deal has been extended through the end of the week. This is a fantastic deal. Normally $348. Um, it will be billed as $59 a year, basically $4.99 a month. Basically for $4.99 a month, you get all of this. All the graphics, all the fonts, all the classes, everything that you see on the site. So I like it because I use Creative Fabrica for all my fonts, and you're gonna see in a second. The, what I'm gonna show you right now is it's under tools and it's called Font Cloud. Font Cloud is free, so you don't have to have a membership to, to use it, but I believe with the membership you get more um, space, more memory space for this. So what happens is every time I download a, a font, I upload it into Font Cloud and just sort of like the cloud, right? Like what we're used to with our iPhones and everything else is that I can log in so I can go to my friend's house or I can go onto my laptop, log into Creative Fabrica, go into my Font Cloud and all my fonts that I've ever uploaded will be here. So I may not have it, I may not have the font on the device that I'm using but I have access to all the fonts that I want to use. So for instance, I'm going to type in Joy because one of the names is Joy and the other name is, who else am I doing right now? Um, Paige. Okay, so I, I wrote out both names because I just want to see what it looks like. So let's say we like, mm, I'm going to scroll and see. I want a very Thin. I know I'm using HTV so I can go with thin. I want one with like glyphs, like all the pretty stuff. So let's see if we can find one that we will really like. So this is what's nice is like I said, sometimes like you look at a font and it looks good, but then with what you're actually typing out, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you can see what it looks like, get a feel for it before you download it. Um, I am still searching. Let me see. I know when I see it, I know what it's gonna look like. So let's scroll just like I normally would. Well, you know, I love this one. This is one of my favorites, Hannah Berry Koo. It will always be a favorite. Um, but I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different. Um, oh, I do like Hello Sunshine. So Hello Sunshine is one. Let's see if there's another one. Um, we might go back up there and do that one. Let's see. Oh, I, I like this one too. So this is Marie Regular. All right, I think I like Marie Regular. Let's say I don't have this font. I'm gonna click on this and then I download it. Once I download it and then open up Cricut, 
then it will be in there. So that's how easy it is to use Font Cloud. But let's look at this. Let's see. So it has, it has these extra glyphs, right? All these cute little squirrely lines before and after. So I like it. Let's go into Design Space and go to Text. I'm pretty sure I have this font. So I'm going to go to System and then type in Marie. And there it is. It's this one. Okay, so the first one is Joy. Oops. I like that. It's pretty. Okay, the next one is Paige. And I also, when I do these names, I like it to be um, all lowercase. That's just personal preference. Okay, next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go get those extra things, right? So I'm going to go into my search bar and I'm going to bring up, um, not Font Lab, no, what is it? Um, main Type. I am losing my mind. <laughs> All right, we're going to open up Main Type. If you don't have main type, Google it and download the free version. So I'm going to click close. I'm using the free version. I'm going to close this out. All right. So I'm going to go down to Marie. This is my font. So what happens is um, you got to find your font. So let me find Marie. Here's Marie. So when I click on Marie, all, all of the, um, all of my options are here. So I need, uh, let's scroll down. Okay, I need J with the glyph on the left-hand side, which is this one, okay? So I highlighted it, I'm gonna hit Control C, and then I'm gonna go into Design Space. This is what's important in Design Space. I'm gonna click on a new text box. In this new text box, I need to make sure that my font matches the, matches the glyph font that I'm about to drop in, which we know it's Marie and Marie, right? Marie from main type, Marie in design space. So then I'm just going to hit control V. So here is my pretty J. On this one, I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to get rid of this J and then put in my new J. Look at how pretty that is. All right, let's go to main type. Let's look for my Y. So here is my Y, but this one is the one with before. I need the Y, here it is, with it at the end. So I'm gonna hit Control C, go back into Design Space. I think this is already here. This is the one I already have. It is, this is the Y that's already there. Let me see if there's another Y. Did I miss it? Uh, there's that Y. Is there not one at the end? Let's see. I feel like there should be. This is before. So weird that there's not one that goes at the end. Which one is that? Okay. Mm, okay, so, oh, no. Let's see what this one looks like. So control C. Oh, nope, it's the same one. Um, I don't know what to make of that. I feel like, I guess there isn't one on this side. Let's see what all our options are. That's the one that we have. These are, these are the same ones. This is before. Oh, I guess, okay, so this one is by itself. Let's hit Control C, go into Design Space. Oh no, it's a Z. So the letter Z has it, what? Okay, let's look at that. Z, so maybe, is this the one? Let's look at this one and see. There's my Y. Oh, it was hard to see. All right, here's Joy. That's so cute. All right, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna go to combine and I'm gonna weld it because I do want it to be one continuous 
name, right? All right, let's look at page. Let's see if I'm gonna have the same issues finding everything. <laughs> All right, we want the letter E at the end. A, B, C, D, E. I think this is the one that we want. Let's see, A, B, C, D, E. I think this is the one that we want. Control C. Let's ungroup this. Yep, there's my E. Let's go back to main type. Let's go get my P. Uh, K L M N O P. Here we go. We'll move this over. Okay, if we like the way that looks, we'll grab this and we're going to weld it. Now, we have the two items. What we're gonna do now is measure our wallet. So what you wanna do is, of course, grab a ruler and I'm gonna measure, you know, I don't wanna go from end to end because there's stitching on at the edges. So I do wanna go smaller than what is available here. So I'm gonna go about three inches three inches wide and I have about half an inch from top to bottom. So let's change the height to 0.5 and see what we have. 0.5 gives us 3.91, which 3.91, that's gonna be too big. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I can do 3.3, I can do 3.3. Let's look at this one. Three point three eight. I think I can do 3.38. So both names are good right now. Um, let's go make it. So what's nice is I know it's it looks really, really small, right? One, we need to mirror. Um, it looks really small, but we're gonna be able to read this. It's gonna be easy. And we're gonna iron it on. It's gonna look amazing. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, how to measure and how to get the extra glyphs. And I will see you on the next tutorial. Please put all your comments and questions and requests down below. I will see you in a little bit.